Rough, rough videos. Hi, Miss Kelly's ILS students. Let's take a deep breath in. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. We are doing our math. And with our math, we have the six die that I put in our week seven packet. And we have the sheet with the matching numbers and the numbers up here on top. And we've now practiced doing it with the grid on the back that I showed you with the, just putting the one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember how that covered that whole page? And then after they rolled the die, they were to match. How many count? One. Okay, match it with one. So we went from there to then taking this and you can either dot the number once they find it, find the number one, because then you don't, don't have this, then they're finding the correct number to match the number of dots. How many dots count? One, two, three, four, five, six. Touch the number six. Okay, after they've touched this and they got it consistently, then it's write the number six to go with the the die. So here you go, and you can dot it, and they can practice writing it and put the six right next to it. So that was where we ended up last time when we were talking about using our die. Now we're going to talk about something else you can do with these die. So we're just going to keep getting a little more difficult. Stay where you are, stay where your baseline is until you've had some consistent corrects answers and you feel confident that they are strong in that area, then you can move it up. So now we're going to talk about more or less. So you can use the same die. You can roll, you can roll one, they can roll one. We kind of made it a game last time, but this time you can do it. Oh, now more, less, or same. So you can make this grid I'm going to show you how to do this. Ms. Kelly always makes it into a fish. So, the fish is always going to eat the larger number. So you can roll one, they can roll one, they can roll two, however you want to do it. And then they are going to count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's five. One, two, three, four. There's four. Which one is more? So the fish always eats the bigger number. Five is more than four. Great. Roll it again. You can do this with as many die as, as many dice as you want or as few. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two. So you have four and two. Which one's more? The fish is always going to eat the one that's more. And remember before, I had the same number. So whichever one's more, or you can go this way too, wherever that mouth is. This is to help with that, if you think about it, when, when we're doing the more or less and we have those signs, but I think it helps to have the fish. So you guys can do it however you want. Just remember that's a mouth. Six is more than one. More, less. Less, more. Now, if we had six and six, equal. It's a good way to practice. So it helps when we go into money and stuff to know what's more, what's less, what's equal or the same use either terminology and just let me know which terminology you want to work with. But if that is not challenging enough, you can add more dye, but that's something we do on a later date. Right now, let's just get to where we are consistently figuring out which one has more. One, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five. Which one has more? The fish is going to eat the one with the more.
And then if you want, you can keep doing more. Oh. One, two, three. One, two. Fish is going to eat the more. Let's do one more. Oh. They are not equal, but look at this. I do have two twos. They are equal. But now the five is more than the three. So you can fill out the whole page if you want, and it makes it a little more challenging, a lot more challenging. But if they're at that level, then you can do that. And you can play this as many times as you want. You can make it a game. You can take, take turns and have fun with it. I hope you enjoy these ideas. Talk to you soon. Bye. Rough, rough videos.